The Twin Foundation on the 10th of February 2021 was appointed by the federal government of Nigeria, the US, and the Bowie of Jersey. This appointment is based on the trilateral agreement signed among Nigeria, US, and the Bowie of Jersey as a civil society to provide effective monitoring of the implementation of the Tripartite Agreement on the sharing, transfer, disposition, repatriation, and management of certain forfeited assets. The forfeited funds worth $311.8 million we will be for the benefit of the Nigerian people for infrastructural development, namely Abuja Kanu Road, Second Niger Bridge, and the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Clean Foundation and her consortium partners, upon an agreed program of works with the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority and the responsible contractors spanning from June 2021 to March 2022, have earmarked on a series of on the spot checks and unsolicited or unscheduled visits to these locations. 29 Nigerian citizens domiciled in localities close to the project locations where work is being performed have been trained on the methodology to undertake the monitoring functions, including the clean project team. These monitors have been deployed to undertake unscheduled visits to the construction locations. Currently, about 450 unscheduled visits have been undertaken since the commencement of this project. Furthermore, the Clean Consortium has embarked on two quarterly site visits to the three project locations since the commencement of this project in June 2021. The first site visit was between the 14th to 25th of June 2021, while the second was undertaken between the 16th to 20th of August and the 22nd to the 25th of September 2021. The project locations being monitored are cuts across eight states, and these are Oyo, Ogun, Lagos, Delta, Anambra, FCT, Kaduna, and Kanu states. The Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority has the responsibility to supervise the utilization of these funds by Julius Berger, Nigeria PLC, and Reynolds Construction Company, who were both contracted by the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing. The forfeited assets, amounting to 126 billion naira, is being spent on the three project locations that cut across three zones of the country, equally as follows. 42 billion naira for the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, 42 billion naira for the second Niger Bridge, and 42 billion naira for the Abuja Kanu Road. While Reynolds Construction Company is responsible for Section 2, of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, that is Shagamu to Ibadan, Julius Bega Nigeria Limited is responsible for Section 1 of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, that is Lagos Shagamu Axis. Second River Niger Bridge and Abuja Kanu Road. Some popular landmarks identified around the construction sites include the Deeper Life uh, Bible Church, MFM, that is Mountain um, of Fire Ministries. Nasfat Camp, Ajura, Idi Ayure, um, around that axis, Iperu, Ilisha Remo, Ogeri, Redemption Camp, Ojo, and Oleyo, around these states um, there. For the second Niger Bridge, the east bank of the Niger, that is the Onisha axis, west bank of the Niger, River Niger, the Asaba axis, toll stations, secondary bridges, Atani and Amako axis and the Oweri interchange at Obozi are areas the forfeited assets are currently being utilized on this site location. On the Abuja Kanu Road, the forfeited assets are currently being utilized at kilometers 12, kilometers, kilometers 18 by the Nepa Uton, close to Kwamba Tafa, work zones 7 and 8 in kilometers 44 to 53, close to Jere Town, kilometers 196 to 199, located at Binin Yeru, in Turundu, in Igabi local government area of Kaduna State, kilometers 22, 227 to 235, 
located between Tarinyan and Sakin and Dusan Abba at Zaria local government in Kaduna State and kilometers 351 to 378 located between Siromawa to Karufi communities in Kanu State. While leveraging on the increased level of cooperation between the Clean Foundation Consortium, the EPC contractors, the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority, and the Federal Ministry of Justice, we will be embarking on our third quarterly visitations to the project site locations between the 15th to 27th of November 2021, and we will keep Nigerians updated on the progress of work accordingly. We look at specific periods, at the areas or at the department of Nigeria and the when the observers come in and they notice it, they report via a clean mobile app. Our clean mobile app contains real time incidents. They send it to the clean mobile app and then we we'll use it. If there are needs to escalate that information to the federal government contracting parties, then we do that. But if there is no need, we use it for more information. So we all have these processes in place to ensure that the profit asset is utilized properly and it will produce applications. Work going on um, here on a daily basis. Uh, probably at the end of the day, we are going to also launch our website where you will see the written information from the website. Notice the progress of work at each of the specific location.